Hi everyone. If you are running out of storage on your Windows PC or planning to upgrade to a faster SSD, this video is exactly for you. In this video, I am going to show you the easiest way to clone Windows 11 or Windows 10 to a new SSD or HDD without using any software. We'll use only built-in Windows tools that are already available on your system. This method copies your entire Windows installation, including all apps, file settings, and user accounts. After cloning, Windows will boot from the new drive exactly like before without reinstalling anything. All right, let's get started. First, we'll create a full backup image of the current Windows installation from the C drive. This backup will include your system files, installed programs, settings, and personal data. For this, you need one extra partition or drive with enough free storage space to store the Windows backup file. The backup file size depends on how much data you have on your C drive, so ensure you have sufficient space available. To do this, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard and click Restart. Keep holding Shift until the PC restarts. Once you see the blue screen, select Troubleshoot. Then select Advanced Options, and finally click on Command Prompt. From here. We'll identify the correct drive letters and create a full backup of the current Windows installation. Type Notepad and press Enter. When Notepad opens, click on File, then click Open. This will open a File Explorer window. From here, confirm which drive is your Windows drive, and also confirm the drive where you'll store the Windows backup file. This is important because inside the recovery environment. Drive letters are often different from what you normally see inside Windows File Explorer. In my case, Windows is installed on the D drive, and I'll save the backup on the E drive. Once you confirm this, close the File Explorer and close Notepad. Now we are ready to create the Windows backup. In the Command Prompt window, type the following command exactly as shown on the screen. Just make sure you change the drive letter according to your system. This command will capture your entire Windows system, including installed apps, user data, system settings, etc., and save it as a single backup file. Press Enter. The process may take some time depending on how much data you have on the Windows drive, so be patient and let it complete fully. Once the operation finishes successfully, close the command prompt window and click continue to boot back into Windows normally. Now the backup image is ready. The next step is to prepare the new SSD. Open Disk Management by right-clicking on the Start button and selecting Disk Management. Here you'll see your new SSD listed. If the SSD already has any existing volume or partition, delete it so that the entire drive becomes unallocated space. Now we need to create two partitions on the new SSD. First, create a 500 MB partition. This partition will be used to boot files. Assign it the drive letter S. Format it as FAT32. Name it System. Then create a second partition using the remaining space. Assign it the drive letter W. Format it as NTFS. Name it Windows. Once both partitions are created, close disk management. Now we'll restore Windows to the new SSD. Open Command Prompt as administrator. Once the command prompt opens, type the following command and press enter. Make sure you change the drive letter according to where your backup.wim file is saved on your system. In my case, the backup file is saved on the D drive. 
This command will extract the Windows backup and install it onto the new drive. Wait until the process reaches 100%. This step may take a few minutes depending on your drive speed. The backup image has been applied successfully. Now we'll make the new drive bootable. To make the new SSD bootable, enter the following command. This command creates the required boot file so that your system can start Windows from the new drive. Now, close command prompt and restart your computer. During the restart, open the boot menu using your keyboard key, which is usually F12, Escape or Delete. From the boot menu, select your new SSD or HDD. Windows will now boot from the new drive. After Windows loads, open File Explorer. Here, you can clearly see that Windows is now running from the new 500 GB SSD. You can also confirm this by opening Disk Space Management. The system partition and the Windows partition are both present on the new drive, which confirms that the cloning process was successful. To double check, open a few applications. Your files, installed programs, and settings should look exactly the same as before. Now, there are three optional cleanup setups you can do, but only after you are 100% sure that everything is working properly. First, during this process, we created a Windows backup file named backup.wim on the D drive. This file was only needed for cloning. Once you confirm that your system boots perfectly from the new SSD, you can safely delete the backup.wim file to free up storage space. Second, after confirming that the new drive is working perfectly, you can format the old Windows drive and use it as a normal storage drive. For this step, we'll use the disk part tool and command prompt. Just follow the steps carefully and run the commands exactly as shown on the screen. Once the process is complete, you can see that all the old Windows partitions have been removed from the drive and it can now be used as a normal storage drive on the computer. One more optional but important step is to hide the system partition from File Explorer. This partition is required for Windows to boot and should not be accessed or modified. To hide it, open Disk Management, right-click on the system partition, click Change Drive Letter and Paths and remove the drive letter. This will hide the partition from the file explorer without affecting windows in any way. So that's how you can clone Windows 11 or Windows 10 to a new SSD or HDD without using any software. Everything is done using built-in Windows tool and you don't need to reinstall Windows or lose any of your data. If this video helped you, like the video and subscribe to Techie Druid for more easy Windows tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.